Spot Scrub Management Management is the art of getting things done through people. Mary Parker Follett says that it's, it includes a set of activities which are strategizing in a way with coordination of employees to attain the goals of the organization. Management activities can be defined in a way to plan, organize, control and coordinate the operation with the basic elements of integration of six M's. Money, machine, methods, market, material and men with the direction and coordination to attain the goal of enterprise. Hence, framework of management called POLC, that is P-O-L-C, which stands for Planning, Organizing, Leading and Controlling. Management is a universal phenomenon. Every individual requires for setting objectives, making plans, handing people, frame strategies with an ultimate objective of goal attainment. Management process is a well-defined system of goal setting and with activities of planning, organizing, directing and controlling moving in the direction of goal attainment. As Peter Drucker says, management is a multi-purpose organ that manages a business and manages manager and manages workers and work. Nature of management. One, management is integrated process. It's again to an universal process. Three, it's a group activity, both at micro, macro level and a goal-oriented activity and it's a dynamic process. Management is a social process. It's intangible. It's an, it's an art and science. It's replaceable. Management is based on certain principles and management is a multidisciplinary subject. Now, looking into details, what exactly is management as an integrated process? Management undertakes the job of bringing together and integrate resources like human resources, physical and financial resources to carry out the activities. Now, management as a universal process, because it's general and common activity present in all enterprises, every organization's ultimate aim is to attain its objectives for that it plans, strategizes the operative system of organizing, giving guidance and monitor the activities and control the activities. Three, management as a group activity. Management activities or functions can't be handled individually. It's a group activity. At micro level, it refers to all the authorities from junior level to top level who manages the organizations. At macro level, it refers to that human activities where people work in groups economical, social, political, and religions. Three, management is a goal-oriented activity. The success of any management activity is assessed by its goal attainment or predetermined objectives. Now, management is a dynamic process. How? Management functions are always governed by external environments, economic, social, political, technical, etc. This external environment is not fixed or dynamic in nature. In order to maintain proper balance with external environment, management activities are also dynamic and flexible. Now, fifth point, management is a social process. Yes, management practices is practiced through people or for the people. All the activities directly impact on the society. Human factor also plays a vital role in management. So we can say that management process is a social process. Now, as we said, management is intangible. How? Management is universal in nature. We can't see, but we can feel its presence. Example, it's better working conditions, better retention of humans, etc. Now, management is an art and science. How do we explain this? Management is an art of getting work done by others, art of managing activities in the direction of goal attainment. It's a science also as management is a systematized body of knowledge with certain principles and procedures. Management is irreplaceable. Yes, this point help, uh, shows that with the help of various techniques like PERT, CPM, management's decisions can change, but the technologies can't replace the management. Now, point nine, management is based on certain principles. French industrialist Henry Fayol gave 14 principles of management. He gave uh, 14 uh, Fayol principles of management, which are accepted universally. 
Now, point 10, management is a multidisciplinary subject. Yes, as management deals in managing people, so it's related to psychology of human, philosophy, various disciplines are included like economics, anthropology, sociology, etc. Now, coming to significance of management. Here, we'll study about the optimum utilization of resources, leadership and motivation, initiative and innovation, and uh, minimizes wastages as industrial peace it builds competitive strength it improves the standard of living there's growth expansion and diversification with effective management system and there's social consciousness so let's go in detail the significance of management management is important in attainment of goals it arranges the factor of production organizes the resources and direct the activities of people towards organizational objectives. One, there is optimum utilization of resources. A good management utilizes all the physical and human resources judiciously. It plans the ma minimum utilization of scarce resources by opting its best possible alternative use out of various uses available. Two, Leadership and motivation. A good management creates the working environment so pleasant every employee gives his or her best efforts. Good environment motivates the worker to work towards the goals. Timely guidance and direction also aids employees in the attainment of the goals. 3. Initiative and innovation. Innovation and initiation gives organization new opportunities to excel and expand. A good management system makes the working environment so free where every individual can express their views. This makes subordinates of employees to come forward and take initiation. Then, it uh, manage, management minimizes the wastages. With effective planning, organizing, management focuses on less wastage with optimal use of resources. Then, industrial peace. Yes, management helps in developing healthy environment by promoting two-way communication, make working environment relax and stress-free. This develops industrial peace and harmony. harmony. Now, coming to how do management build competitive strength? See, to hold the market, organization plan competitive or strategic moves to give competitive edge to competitors. Sound management enables the enterprise to achieve higher level of productivity and profitability. Now, management also improves standard of living. How do we prove that? See, by increasing the profitability and productivity, management system raises the standard of living. With increased productivity, consumers get better quality of goods on low price and with increase of profitability, employee can earn highest wages. Again, here coming to management, growth, expansion and diversification is effective with effective management system. Yes, which uh, this leads organization in innovation, employees take leads, resource utilization is optimum, organization can grow, expand and diverse. Last but not uh, last point is the social consciousness. Effective managerial activities contribute towards the welfare of different segments of society like the consumers, the workers and the investors. We need to know a few descriptive questions like explain the nature of management with suitable examples and details. Then another important question is what is the scope of management and um, another question is write short notes on management process, universality of management. Thank you.